the stunning success of the rebels forced the Romans to withdraw from the region. Bar Kokhba then declared Judea to be an independent kingdom. But the Romans were merely waiting to counterattack until they had assembled one of the greatest armies in their history. They had sent three legions against Jerusalem in the rebellion 60 years earlier. Now they sent 13. Adrian sent against the Jews his best general, Julius Severus, who was dispatched from Britain. Hadrian ordered him to put to the sword all who stood in their path. Rome responds to Bar Kokhba by throwing masses of its military force into the fray. Legions would be brought in not only from Judea, from Egypt, from the surrounding countries, but as far as across the Danube River. A commander would be brought in from Britain. There was absolutely no way that Hadrian could allow even partial success to this uprising. Severus did not venture to attack his opponents in the open, in view of their numbers and their desperation. Instead, he isolated them in small groups. They dispensed with the rebels who were hiding in their caves by filling them with smoke and guarding the exits. Then they surprised and killed all who came out to fight. 580,000 men were slain in the various raids and battles. And the number of those that perished by famine, disease, and suffocation was past finding out. With the rebellion crushed, the people of Judea faced even worse retribution from the Romans than after the uprising 60 years earlier. For the Romans now set themselves the goal of wiping the Jews from Judea. The Bar Kokhba rebellion was known really as the most disastrous single event that ever happened to the Jewish people before the Holocaust. In fact, when we look at the three literary accounts, we find that they all agree. Nearly 600,000 Jews were killed. Over 900 Jewish villages were destroyed. And for one small moment in Jewish history, again, it looked like Jewish history might have been over. In the aftermath of the uprising, the Romans changed the name of the region from Judea to Palestine. Then they banned all Jews from Jerusalem. The emperor then commanded by legal decree that the whole nation of the Jews should be forcibly removed from the district round Jerusalem, so that not even from a distance could they see their ancestral home. Thus the city came to be bereft of the nation of the Jews, and in honor of the emperor Alias Hadrian, the name of the city became Alia. The outcome of the Bar Kokhba revolt is a much more serious policy on the part of the Romans, prohibiting Jews from even going to Jerusalem, and they plow over the Temple Mount and build a temple to their gods on that spot, thereby showing you, you have no place here, we clearly are the winners. In the centuries that followed, whole villages of Jews began to leave Judea in search of a new life. They headed for the Jewish communities that had been flourishing for centuries in Babylon, in Greece, in Rome, and many other places. 